everyone. Welcome back to the Reconstructing History channel. Today, we're going to talk about hats. And guys, this is just for us. You might have heard me waxing rhapsodic in the 1920s video about how you never go out without a lid on, and there's a certain kind of hat you're looking for. Well, today, we're going to talk about five hats that you can add to your closet right now, thanks to the internet, that will see you through pretty much the entire early 20th century. So, we'll be right back with the complete list. Okay, let's start with some basics. First up is your standard old cloth cap or newsboy cap. Now, these are very simple. This one is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight panel triangle, you know, like pie shaped pieces sewn together with a brim. Some of them have a snap on the brim. These are very, very versatile. You can wear them with virtually any casual outfit. This one came, I uh, believe, from New York Hat Co. Could also have been hats in the Belfry, but they're not terribly expensive either. They're like 30 bucks tops. This one is your go-to country wear if you're going to be really specifically historical. Wear it with your sporting attire, like when you're out walking, just walking around town. Maybe wear it with a pea coat or something like that. You wouldn't wear it with a suit, but you can wear it with your working togs and be perfectly vintage with one of these. So that's option number one. Option number two is your standard fur felt fedora. Now, this one I know came from Hats and a Belfry. This one is one that you can shape. They're, again, not terribly expensive. 50 bucks tops. Uh, yeah, New York Hat Co., I tell a lie. But they come, they generally come in small, medium, large, extra large. Has to do with a range of uh, head sizes. I think I wear a seven and a half to seven and three quarter, depending on whether or not I got my hair cut. But they'll usually come in a little feather right here. I almost always take those out because I can't stand them. And if you get one, order. it's better to order two large because you can always stuff a piece of paper into the sweatband there and size it up according to your head from there. But yeah, again, fedora, another good one, 30s, 40s, 50s, you're just fine wearing one of these. Now, some specialty hats. You may like one of these. You know, this isn't a little bit of the ultraviolence. This is a good old-fashioned bowler hat. You can wear this with pretty much any kind of suit. You remember uh, Steed in the Avengers te television program from the UK always wore a bowler hat and a nice heavy one, too. This one is an actual vintage. This is a St Philadelphia Stetson that I picked up ages ago. Just got lucky. But you can get these again. New York Hat Co. Hats in the Belfry has them in all kinds of different colors. Uh, black is probably what you should stick with if you want to go with anything sort of bowler hat. Bowlers are always nice. For more sporting attire, the good old-fashioned straw boater. How 20s is this, right? With a seersucker suit and one of these, you will be the hit of any Roaring 20s garden party. And this one is, if I remember correctly, again, a New York Hat Co. Hats in a Belfry. They generally have them. Not terribly expensive. You don't avoid the ones that are like the plastic party type of hat because they'll never do. But again, these are nice. Wear them at a rickish angle. Summertime wear, you're good to go. And finally, the much maligned pork pie hat. Not a fedora, hipsters. This is a good one if you want that 50s vibe when you're wearing it with a Hawaiian shirt, that Felix Leiter in, uh, I forget which Bond movie that was. The one where he talks really, really loud. That one. Uh, pork pie like this. Hawaiian shirt or a Gaia Berra, and you're absolutely cool for that 1950s Cuba look before Castro came to power. And you'll be, again, the hit of all the garden parties in the summertime. So, that was our survey of five early 20th century hats that you can buy right now to add to your vintage look wardrobe. Links for New York Hat Co. and Hats in the Belfry will be down there in the description. You've got a few weeks left before Christmas, so ladies, if you're watching this and you're stumped for a gift for your vintagey husband or partner, go ahead and hit one of those websites, get him one of those five hats, he will be happy. It, guys, same thing, buy a gift for yourself. You've got just enough time, I should think, to get it there before the holiday comes round. 
And uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up. So uh, again, thanks to all of our Patreon patrons. Thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting us. If you got here from uh, just YouTube, there's a link to our Patreon down there in the description, as well as our main website. And uh, yeah, ring the bell, subscribe here on YouTube, and uh, like, subscribe, give us a comment, tell us what you'd like to see in future videos. We really, really appreciate you watching and appreciate your feedback. Thanks again, everyone. See you next time.